What is my work, man? It doesn't matter. You are older, so you should know. Oh, I don't care. You are older than her, so you should take responsibility. You gave us a fight. We need to leave now. Leave? Yes. In that? Where do we go to? What about our things? Stay in here with your mother and your sister, okay? Please, fine, please, go. Don't go. Don't go. You have to stay, please. Go. 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 please. See what he will make of that. Excuse me. Speak of the devil, he shows up. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our forefathers say that when our mouths are together, 
the forest leads easily to the town. So, we will take our states to where we have always dreamt it will be. Uh, uh, let me introduce to you the angel who chief out. Chief Lepinus, always, always a pleasure. <laughs> Same here. So now you have decided to join us. I will never be on a side that you're not on. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Well said. Uh, well By said. the way, I have not set my eyes on our governor to be. Where is she? Oh, there she is over there. Oh, I can see her. Yes. Indeed. And that is why we must work together to protect the history of our people and create new legacies that will outlive our existence for generations to come. Everyone starts out with noble intention. But eventually they realize that you cannot be the desire of the people. I am different. The people come first. No, we are settled. The people will be settled. I mean, take a look at them. That's all they are good at. They'll dance to any tune you play. A man can alter his life by altering his thoughts. William James, I believe the key to liberating our people is to expose their minds to the greater possibilities that exist beyond the confines of this geopolitical space. Hmm. Well said. However, I'll be more enthusiastic about you encouraging our people to think outside the box when there's evidence of thinking going on inside it. Terry. Terry. Pratchett. Anyway. The father knows how it's done. We will talk some more after you win the elections. Indeed. Like one cannot do without the other. <laughs> yeah, it's like taking a fish out of the water. There you have your answer. <laughs> and what are we laughing about? Hey, there comes the hot Madam Governor. Hey, hey, I thought I told you to stop addressing me that way. Why do you like taking the phone out of everything? Francis, back me up on this one. Uh, what? <laughs> Francis. Ah, uh, she's, uh, <laughs> she's doing just fine. See? So much for an unbiased opinion. Oh, please. And um, what are the two of you doing outside here, staring at the water when there's a big party going on inside? Well, the waters are not as complicated and deceptive as you politicians. <laughs> Lucky. That was mean. Seriously. I love you. Yeah? Nimi? Uh, yeah, we should see. You know where to find me when you're ready. Yeah. <laughs> what? Let's go in. Yeah, we should go. What? Why are you looking at her like that? <laughs> Man, dude. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I am most proud today, not just because of my daughter's announcement of her bid for governorship of our great state, but also 
because of the wonderful people gathered here today who have left their homes and their businesses to join me in building a great state that our children will be proud of. I assure you that you have made the right decision. Those who are not here are not for us. Together, we will build a state that is secure for all, for you and for me. My daughter, our governor, will soon be here to reel out her vision for a great state. There's plenty <laughs> to eat and drink. <laughs> I will stop here, but let me say this. Prepare for the unexpected. I expect that to do a clean job. No traces. We'll talk when it's all over. Businessmen don't have time for us anymore. I mean, constituents are chasing after us while money chases after you. Joshi, what are you talking about? <laughs> How can we even make this money without people like you in the government? Mmm, touche. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so, uh, Nimi takes the crown. I thought you were going to be the king. No, I am the kingmaker. Her, and she has my complete and full support. Mm. Mm. But from the look of things, it looks like your father chose her over you. Which would only be true, only if I was running for governor. Owens! Hey! fabulous. Thank you. What? I didn't know you were coming. What? <laughs> Ever since I heard, I knew I had to be here. You look so ready for this. I am. She's a storm. Better not stand in her path. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> See, uh, you people, I'm a businessman. So let me just go and make business contact, because you people won't put money in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very proud of you. You don't have to say that. We both know that you have always wanted this. But believe me, I didn't try to steal this from you. I know. It looks like someone's coming to steal you away. Cool. Congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, mm -hmm. I haven't won it yet. Um, I'll be around. I'll be in that corner. Ladies? Mm -hmm. See you. Ladies, oh. your eyes oh. on me. Oh. The man is hot. Ooh. He's hot mm. and married. Oh, please. Uh -uh. I'm not asking for a major commitment. Eh? Oh, by the way, I ran into Francis. I don't even know what that means. Uh, you two should just get married already. Uh uh. Date already. You date first before getting married. Not necessarily in that order. Ladies, anymore. my love life will not be the subject of our discussion. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 oh, you're looking so fine. <laughs>
I'll be right out. Young woman, it's time for your speech. People are waiting to hear you. Honey, if you allow her to concentrate, she'll be done in a matter of seconds. Thank you, mommy. There are important people waiting for her here. Please don't waste their time. Rosalyn. And, um... Naya. Naya, please tell your friend to hurry up. Honey, let's go. Let's go. She'll be out in a minute. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What? What? He says he wants to meet. <laughs> what does this even mean? What if he wants to say goodbye? He and Lucky have been deployed to Sudan and they leave in two days. Nah, 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 nah. This sounds like a man in love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, God, I could just strangle him sometimes. I'm too old for this. Hey. We're never too old for love. Mm -hmm. And I'm never too old for money. Let's go, Madam Governor. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Hmm? Okay, ladies, let's go win the people. Mm -hmm. You mean, let's go win a husband? <laughs> Naya. You're wow. crazy. You need to watch your back more carefully. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm very sorry, ma'am. It's okay. Carry on with your job. Ladies, please, give me a few minutes. Sorry, Jeremy. My brother. Hans. You don't have to do this. to clean up the dress. Look, just tell her to hurry up before her father loses his mind. Okay.
She'll be here shortly. She's at a last minute touch up, whatever that means. The lion of the jungle. I've always felt strongly about you, and I want us to. I would like us. Uh, I would like us to take this uh, relationship to friendship. I'd like us to take this friendship to the next level and it's not working. to have seen Nimi, would you? Not since complicated waters and deceptive politicians. Conversation at the waterfront. Her friend said uh, she went back upstairs to clean up, but uh, there's nobody there right now and the doors are locked. That's odd. Yeah. I hope she's not developing cold feet. <laughs> Help me look for her. Okay, it's done. Tango, 
Do you copy? Come in. Do your men just abandon their posts at will? There was a media van in this compound a moment ago. Who let it out through the gates? Couldn't have just disappeared. What's going on? More of my men have gone radio silent. And this is highly unusual, sir. We may have a breach. CSO! CSO! Query. Which one of your boys is behind this? Chief. Behind what, Chief? Someone just broke into my house and kidnapped my daughter. Ah, I don't know anything about it, Chief. And I don't know anyone bold enough to pull the tail of a lion. I will skin whoever it is that is behind this. I will destroy them. The lion has been lured out of his den. Not even the small rats will be spared. You we'll call all the territories and talk to your boys that whoever is behind this should retrace their steps. Otherwise, I'll start to rain down thunder. I will get back to you shortly, Chief. Igberi, hey, if you don't call me in the next 10 minutes with good information, I will start my strike with you. You will hear from me, Chief. Have you seen anything yet? No. We have a problem. Several security personnel have been found dead around the premises. What? Two at the front gate and another three at the northeast fence, alongside the waterfront. And the guests? They're still keeping it under wraps. Only the remaining security personnel are aware. And um, they can't be trusted. They all have been compromised. <sighs> what just happened? All the cameras have been compromised. Hey, Barry. Chief, I have called all the territories. None of the boys have your daughter. They are as surprised as I was. As who will have such courage to do such? It looks like an external job. Chief. Hey, get your boys ready. I'm about to rain down fire. Nothing will be spared. Whoever has done this has asked for fire, and he will see me, the fire. Get ready to clean up the mess. It's going to be a bloody war. Chief. Wait, did you see that? What? Take it back. There, her phone. She had her phone in her hand before she went upstairs. But no phone was recovered from the bedroom. So there's a high chance she had her phone before she was abducted. Yeah. And that way we could actually track her current location, or at least her last location. Who do you trust to handle this discreetly? Well, I can put a call through to our base. We have a guy in surveillance. He can track the phone. To get an authorization for that might take a while, but I'm sure he can do us the favor. Call him. But let's handle this discreetly until we get a solid response. Yes, sir. Call Inspector Osage as well. What? The retired police inspector? Yes. I want us to keep this under wraps. You can call the commissioner's boys to replace the compromised security idiots. 
make sure you use on official channels. Is your mother aware of this? Not yet. I'll tell her myself. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention, please? A few moments ago, my daughter and our governor-to-be had to rush out on an emergency. A beloved friend of hers and an integral member of her campaign team was involved in a ghastly motor accident. She has rushed to be by the side of the family of the deceased. Before she left, she said to me, Dad, how will the people who gathered on my behalf understand? And I said to her, they are humans too. And they will know that the person that they're about to vote for cares about those who are around her and will sacrifice anything for them. However, the party is still on. There's still a lot to eat and drink. I thank you very much for coming. Her candidacy becomes official today. It's a wrap at the pre-campaign party hosted by Chief Livinus Thompson in honor of his daughter, Barrison Nimi Thompson, who is being fielded as the next gubernatorial candidate for the Democratic Alliance Party. Behind me is an intense security protocol that makes me wonder if there is a manhunt going on. Though things are still unclear as to the reason behind the security check, there are speculations that there is a threat on the safety of the host. I am Natasha King reporting for Planet News. Good job. Make sure she can't come off of this. I'll make a transfer of the balance with NVR. Talk to you later. won't come out of this. You plan me Miss Kinnap? Well, what kind of question is that? And why would I plan Nimi's kidnap? Who are you calling? Hmm? Hand me your phone. Hand me your phone or I swear I would create a scene right now. Who is ice cream? Look, Lucky, that was a personal call. I had nothing to do with Nimi's kidnap. You were never happy about her gubernatorial bid. Is this how you want to eliminate her from the race? Let me remind you, little brother, I am a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and I such, I have secret agents working for me on various projects, accepting the kidnapping of my sister. Surveillance tracked the phone back to the house. Turns out it was with the whole time. It was on the floor in the bedroom. I picked it up after Nimi was taken. Dead end.
What do you want from me? You can't hold me captive and not tell me why. Calm down, <laughs> Madame Governor. You speak to me alone. <sighs> Set me free and let us talk face to face. <laughs> Very stubborn. Just like your father. He feeds right into his shoes. You are not that. Don't try to be. His shoes are too large. I don't think I can fit in. Um, Dad's shoes are not exactly haute couture, Nemi. <laughs> but you can make yours that fit. I know I can. Isn't that why they call me my father's daughter? Yep. Talking about things that fit... Nice. <laughs> but this is your way of telling me that I should always try to keep the time right. Well, more like keeping tabs on you. Okay, let's just say I want to be able to track you whenever and wherever. Ah, and it's your glorified way of saying you are now a stalker. An honorable one. <laughs> but see, um, when you announce your candidacy, you become a prize target. I don't want to take any chances. Oh, touchy, brother. And let's see how you achieve that while this guy has dust in my drawer. Come on, Amy, just wear the watch. No. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I empower all these women with jobs. Chief, from the look of things, this kidnap was done by well-skilled hands. Knowing your standing in, in, in the state, this kidnap was not done by the regular, regular guys. Can you tell me something I don't already know? We are still gathering information. <laughs> it was so quick. He told me to sit down. <laughs> we were back in the door. Then I heard movements. Something was wheeled out. It must have been in me. So tell me. What were you doing when they were taking her away? How many times? I, I just told you. I was unconscious. Madam, you need to calm down. <laughs> calm down and tell us the whole truth. Tell us the whole story. Oh my God. I will work with all the information gathered by my assistant. And we have already gathered that the 
only vehicle that was checked out when your daughter was abducted is the bus that belongs to one of the media houses that was invited. And um, we also have information that um, there is an abandoned bus at the outskirts of town. And um, we are still looking into, into that. For now, Chief, um, we just have to just hold on. Let us wait and let the kidnappers make their demands. <laughs> uh, I know the bastards behind this. And I will not pay any ransom. They are trying to embarrass me and belittle me. And who are the bastards behind this? Uh, my political enemies, of course. Chief, let's keep our minds open to many possibilities. One quick question before I move into other things. Are you aware of anyone who may have a personal grievance against your daughter's governorship candidacy? Why is everyone looking at me? Wait. You can't all think I had anything to do with this. Let's not uh, break the peace. There's nothing to worry about, Senator. Hmm? You are not a suspect yet. <laughs> yet. Is that not the landline? In the study? That phone hasn't worked in years. Who is this? Where am I supposed to get 30 billion now? Well, that's not my problem now, is it? We'll call you in an hour. I hope you have something for me by then. How am I supposed to get 30 billion now in cash? Dad, <clears throat> his demand sounded very specific. Like, he knew you actually had that money somewhere. Where? I don't have that kind of money. Even my bank statement can prove. Dad, I should get my boys in here. I want the best hands handling this case. If you get your boys in here, people will know something is wrong. The vultures will start circling. And the smell of carcass. How my political enemies feel? That the very one. His daughter got kidnapped right under his nose. I'm gonna let my political enemies think I'm that weak. Uh... 
Do you read the Bible? Do you read the Bible? Yes. You know there is a part in Exodus that says the Lord keeps mercy for thousands, forgiven iniquities, transgression, and sin. But here's where it gets interesting. Hmm? It says, The Lord will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquities of the Father upon the children, upon the children's children until the third and fourth generation. No, that's the part. And he will stop visiting the sins of the father on the children when you get some money. That is what this is about, right? Money? <laughs> Life and death are in the tongue. Your choice. Chief, there are concerns about your daughter running for governor. The party stakeholders are not buying into it. Let me state this for the records. I'm the one selling. And when I sell, everybody buys. My daughter's candidacy is not up for debates. The party will show her full and unwavering support. Uh, Chief, why don't we field her as a running mate instead? Then when she gains experience, we can put her on the ticket as the candidate at the next election. What do you think this is? A joke? She's a woman. There's a reason why this has never been done. And it's because it can never happen. No one votes for a woman in this state. Let me rephrase this. No one will ever vote for a young single woman in this country. Uh, let's even say you know, we move things for her. Even like that, uh, she lacks political experience. And the people are not familiar with her. I'm the one talking. Nimi Thompson will be the next governor of our state. If you like, support her. Are you threatening to kill me? If anything happens to me, you are witnesses that he threatened to kill me. <laughs> All of us in this room have come a long way together. You should not back me up on this. Divinus, you know where my allegiance lies. But for once, I don't agree with you on this. Then we'll proceed without you. Don't be a stumbling block. We shall see how far this goes. Don't underestimate me. Don't. 
Excuse me. General. Excuse me, I have to make a phone call. Benjamin, what is this? You come after my family, I'll come down hard on you. So hard you wish you were dead. I want my daughter back by 7 p.m. If not, I'll come after everything you own. Nothing will survive my fury until I get my daughter back. Tell your boss to bring her back to me. Don't play with me, Benjamin. I bring my daughter back by 7 p.m. or I'll destroy you. What's the problem? A guy from Sutherland just called. Apparently, it's possible to track the coordinates of her watch, even though it's out of proximity of her phone. I got her a smartwatch, you know, that works like a phone because it is paired. Meaning? We have a location. And the location is in close proximity to the outskirts where the abandoned minibus was um, found. So you're sure? that this is the same mini boss that whisked my daughter away? Yes, the description given by your security man confirms it. So the location we have now could be... Um, <clears throat> if you can't trust anyone with all these things that have been happening, um, you can trust me. I'm a politician. I, I know how to keep secrets. So uh, let me help you. You want to help me? Uh, you came under the pressure of what this is about. Try me. I can't trust you. I made you what you are today. I gave you power. 
and what you do with it. I wish I had a son that was man enough to protect my interests and cover my tracks in the upper chambers. But what do you do? You help my enemies and sideline me. That is the reason why that fool is sitting at government today. You're blaming me for this. All my life, I have done nothing but serve you. I do everything you ask me to do. I have been your puppet. You never want enough. You always want more. And nothing is ever enough for you, even at the cost of my own self. And now it's happening all over again. You're protecting your legacy even at the risk of your daughter's life. Look, you don't know what is at stake. The legacy I have built for years. The legacy that I want to leave for my children is about to go up in flames. If your legacy is going up in flames, then they never existed in the first place. If you're willing to sacrifice your own daughter to save your legacy, then it isn't worth having. This is the location. I don't know anybody about me. Why are you the para now? No, no, anything. Why can't you ask us? Where, where, where is she? Where is she? Look at this watch. Look at this watch! Now, now for road. Now for road, we'll do good time. Go buy drugs for my melody. Now, let me see him. I swear. You're so easy. Now for road, we see him. Which road? Now, the road where we'll we, we, we pass go and express. The captors probably found the wristwatch on Nimi and threw it out. And they found its way to the hands of this. Innocent boys. We cannot confirm that they're innocent! Don't come now, they do us anyhow. Now, because say we poor, tomorrow now, when election go come, we now go come, say me, we come vote for Una. God punish person who say me, we vote for him. Uh, let's go, guys. It, 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 time is ticking very fast, please.
Dad? I'm sorry, but I need to deal with the situation my own way. And I have gone to do that. I will sort everything out discreetly. Don't worry about me. It will be all over by morning. Dad ran? Why would he run? That's, that's strange. Where's Dad? I just found his note in his study. <laughs> I thought he went out with you until Churchill found a note on his desk. Dad left? <laughs> Typical of your father. To leave in the middle of the mess he created. don't have that kind of money. Where do you expect us to get that kind of money from? Inspector, what uh, TV station do you think is likely to reach out to you? Um, most likely he will want to go with a TV station with um, lots of viewership. News Direct? Sam Okubo. What? Sam Okubo? GM, News Direct. He's my boy. Then, then go ahead and call him. Call him right away. Sam. Ah, Senator. I am lawyer, sir. To what do I owe this court to call? Uh, this is uh, an emergency call. Um, has anyone reached out to you with a view to giving you something to broadcast by 8 p.m.? No, sir. Is there a problem, sir? 
um, well, someone is trying to tarnish the image of this family. So, um, if anyone brings anything to the station with a view to showing it before 8 p.m., please get in touch with me immediately and do not broadcast that thing. Do you understand? Send it off. You have my word. Nothing about you will be allowed on air. I will call the news chief and give him strict orders. I can also call some other news agencies to get them on board. Do you want me to do that? Do everything you can, but make sure that thing does not go on air. You have been good to me, Senator. Anything for you. You'll be handsomely rewarded. What are you sorry about? Sam? Uh, Senator, I, I, uh, the broadcast, I can't stop it. I am ruined if I don't allow it on air. He knows too many things about me. Uh, I, I'm sorry, Senator. Sam, Sam, stop that broadcast. Do not, Sam. It's been a rough day. No matter what we see in the next few minutes, I don't want us to lose heart. And if we don't lose heart... Good evening. I am Zainab Mohammed. Starting with the breaking news, retired General Benjamin Uyoyo the national chairman of the Democratic Alliance Party has been linked to the diversion of the $50 billion intervention fund released by the federal government for the cleanup of oil spill in Ejeba community. The documents and phone conversations leaked by an anonymous whistleblower confirms that this has been ongoing over a period of five years, during which many lives have been lost due to the hazard environmental pollution in the area. We will bring to you updates on this report as they come in. Stay with me. Churchill, is dad involved in this? He and the general go way back. Why is he using this to get his attention? Hello, sir. Where is your father? I can't reach him. He threatened to destroy me, and now this. It's, um, General, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. They are coming. Your father has given our enemies enough to bury me forever. But let me tell you, if I go down, he will go down too. Everyone will go down. I will give names. I will give details of his involvement. We'll all be Sir, honestly, I have no idea what you're talking about. I had nothing to do with this. 
But 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 today, Nimi was kidnapped. And, and, and as, as we speak right now, we, we can't find that anywhere. Honestly. You better bring the winners out of where you're hiding in. Who are you? What what exactly do you want? Who am I? Well, I'm the one in charge. I have to make you understand that, so that when I ask, you do. Um, hello. Um, I'm Inspector Osage. I know who you are. Great. Since you know me, let's talk. The family does not have the kind of money that you're asking for, so. Let's um, talk. Let's um, reach a compromise. A fair price. You still don't know who's in charge, do you? Maybe I need to make this clear. Keep your eyes glued to the prime news of the day. The 9 p.m. news. Uh, 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 hold on. Uh, hello? Hello? Ha what now? What next? <sighs> involving the national chairman of the Democratic Alliance Party, retired General Ben Uyoyo, an anonymous whistleblower, has once again leaked a series of documents and phone conversations that prove that the managing director of oil giant Deep Shore Petroleum has been involved in an ongoing tax evasion scam and has laundered amounts to the tune of $75 billion over this period. To an account opened with the International Banking Center in the Cayman Islands. This is not about me. She's just a pawn to get dad's attention. This is all about Dad, they are out to destroy him, and you know why. Is there still doubt of who is in charge here? You've made your point. But frankly, we, there's no way we can find 30 billion naira. And just before I kill your sister, I have one more thing for you. See, by morning, the entire nation will wake up to the news about Code Willow. Look, Senator, if you help us understand the situation, we may be able to help you. Otherwise, this guy won't stop until he sees you go down. Who or what is Good Willow? Touch him. Whatever this is, now is a good time to come out straight.
<laughs> Who listens to Rex Lawson at dinner parties? Well, you know, dad and his wealthy colour not chewing guests. <laughs> Political repartee with a spice of Rex Lawson. Perfect recipe for a 21st century dinner party. <laughs> it's not that boring, just a lot of education. <laughs> Your birthday gift. Francis. <laughs> it's lovely. Thank you. Nothing but the best for you, sis. How do you men live with yourselves? Denying yourself the full joy of life, knowing that life in itself is short. I don't understand. What are we talking Nothing about? Nothing but the best for you, sis. Really? Francis, I have two brothers already, and they are a handful. I don't need a third one. Excuse me. Nimi. Nimi! on your mind, soldier. Every day we go out into the unknown. One minute we're chasing down terrorists, the next death has us six feet under. Yeah. But we knew that before we caught and listen in the army. Yes, but I haven't made best use of opportunities gifted me, man. Never forgive myself if I left this one too late. What are you talking about? I love her, man. I guess I was afraid what you'd think about it. You know, what you could do to our friendship. I have such a negative view on marriage. I, I always spoke about how, how it wasn't fair to gift a wife with the risk of early widowhood. I couldn't do that to your sister now. I was wrong about that. But you did a terrible job hiding your feelings for me from me. You knew about? Yes, even the gardener knows. The, the gardener knows. I'm just kidding. Remember, you're my best pal, and she's my sister. What, you thought I wasn't going to know something was going on? I was going to give this to her. After the party. <laughs> I finally got myself to, to doing it, and then all of this happens. Now her life is in danger and I can't even save her. We'll find her. And we will rescue her. And you will have your shot. You're a good man, Francis. And I wouldn't wish anyone else for my sister. You really mean that? Yeah. Yes, of course. Although you guys have to keep all of that much away from me. I can't even imagine Nimi Mashi, man. She was always so strong, that one. If she were here, she'd probably be preempting these guys' every move. She always had a, a good antenna for picking things out in situations like this. Probably why she was so good in the courtroom. Wait. That's it. The antenna. He didn't just compromise the cameras. He can hear us, man. 
That explains why he's always moves ahead of us. Maybe I would stand up if I were you because things are about to get interesting. By this time of the morning, you'll be free. Secured. Uh, gentlemen, to resolve this, we first must know what Code Willow is. It's obvious it has a lot to do with all that has happened so far. Yeah, but he's not going to tell us anything about it. But we must find a way to solve everything. And save Nimi. Yeah. It's Churchill, open up. What do you want? This is still my father's house, you know. I think I may have found a way to solve this case. Firstly, I know you have doubts regarding my innocence. Yes, I did feel betrayed by Dad reneging on his promise to make me governor. But if I have any grudge against anyone, it's be against Dad, not only me. The call you overheard had nothing to do with Nimi. It was to a lady who was blackmailing me. I'd have to stop it from getting public. What lady? The lady I had an affair with. She threatened to go public, and I, I cannot afford that bad press. Listen, I would never do anything to harm Nimi. She's very precious to me. This is the guest list. Whoever planned this thing planned it very, very well, and had full knowledge of the layout of this event. Which leads me to believe that whoever planned this kidnap is on this list, and possibly even is the mastermind. This isn't of much use to us. You can't just check out someone's name without facts or evidence. If only Dad were here, we could have him look at the list. He can at least find out who has a grudge against him, and we narrow it down. Yes, someone who might be involved with Code Willow. Hello? Anything you want, honest, please. Congratulations. Looks like someone's finally learned some manners. Do you have money? Yeah, yes, yes, I, I, I know where it is. Good. Get it ready. You will hear from me shortly. Uh, Senator, I thought you said you knew nothing about the 30 billionaire. 
I just remembered. <sighs> 30 billion Naira cash. Where do you want to get that by this time of the night? It's past 12 already. I know where my dad kept it. Yeah. Easy. Why are you crying? I've never seen this kind of money in my life before. My friend, big, big bag there. I'm packed this money. Yes, sir. We have the money. Where's the drop off point? Done. I'm sorry, you want us to burn 30 billion Naira? But you listen to me because I don't have time to waste. Get some for you. Burn that money or your sister dies now. And I'll send you a video. to you until you show me your face Twelve. even after everything perhaps you make an adequate government after all as a reward let's talk about what your father is paying for in 1998 Deep Shell Petroleum found commercial quantities of oil in the Jebba community. A lot of bidding was done over the land by different companies, oil companies, but to no avail. The one dissension to the selling of the community land to the companies was embodied in one man. And because of him, the community simply would not sell. In light of this, Dad, the general and Chief Ambrose thought up a ruse to drag the president and make him bring the military down to the Jabba community. The militants are preventing access to the land and intelligence reports show that their network is growing rapidly. Yes, we will be able to take control of the property if we strike now. Mr. President, 
we have the necessary manpower for a strike. Yes, Mr. President. Mission Zero activated. Operation Code Willow is a go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now we are talking. Williams. <laughs> It was after that call that the military invaded Ijeba. To them, they were on a manhunt for militants. But there was a covert strike force in place. To deal with any opposition to the acquisition of the land. So Dad was responsible for the Ijeba killings? Over 200 lives were lost just for a piece of land? You mentioned a particular man was opposed to the selling of the land. Who was he? My father. Who was your father? Wilson Secondus. Owen Secondus' father? Yes. The same Owen Secondus of Wenco Oil. Owen's! Owen's mother and sister also died in that incident. One question. Was Owen present at the party? Yes, he was. Senator. Uh, Owen! Hey, the Senator! Owen! Mm. Hey! Mm. 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 Hey, Josie. Oh, man. I just heard now, and, uh, you know, what? what is sad news? I know. I know. Man, my condolence to me, huh? I will. Oh, I'm very sure she'll be all right by the time she's back. Uh, I have a. Have a long night. Uh, I miss her all along. Right, do take care of her. Sorry. Right. Well, it's hard to believe that it was Owens. He's well known to the family. Which makes it easy for him to hide in plain sight. What I don't understand is why he would wait 20 years. Why now? It just doesn't make sense to me. Owens, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that they made you do this. I'm sorry about your parents and your sister. And if I could take it back, believe me, I will. There's nothing to be sorry for. Mimi, nothing. Like I told you, I was young. 
You know, as a teenager, I couldn't do nothing. Nothing to be sorry for. But they will pay for this. The vulture is a patient bird, Nimi. Yeah. By the break of day, everything will be over. Will it truly be over? Just in a few hours. I'm going to have my own pound of flesh. And you never considered forgiveness? Forgiveness is a pill for the weak, Nimi. Oh, and they will come after you. You have to run away while you still can. And abandon everything? There is no running, Nimi. Well, I'll give it to him. He has one. How can we get to Owens before dawn? Where's Dan? Oh, uh, he'll, he'll, be, he'll be here sooner or later. I mean, um, when he's done pulling off whatever it is he is pulling off at the moment. Listen, um, one thing's for sure. Uh, Code Willow is going to leak no matter what. My suggestion is we all catch some rest before morning. Yeah, sure. No problem. Good night. Look, after we found out Owens was behind all of this, I reached out to our guy, Shebu, asked him to pull out a full dossier on all his holdings, properties, recent purchases, you know, anything that might be of help. And, come on, man, you're killing me. Get to the meat. Relax. There's a possible location he might be holding near me. Yes, we cross-checked it with the trajectory of our dead-end watch. There's a match. A property owned by Owens. Where are you going to? To end all of this. Oh! 
I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I love you, Nimi. I always have. I love the sound of your voice. I, I love your sense of humor. I love the way you think. You, you think about all the little things. You, you say. What did I tell you, girl, about keeping all this mush away from me? <laughs> Look, it's been a long night. Let's go home. Shegufalade, top stories first. Former governor of the state, Chief Levinus Thompson, in a recent document leak, has been linked as the mastermind behind the Jeba community massacre. Uh, 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 more breaking news. Footage just reaching us appears to have uh, Senator Churchill Thompson Killing his father, leaving us Thompson. This is bound to upturn a lot of things. This is really unprecedented. If you're willing to sacrifice your own daughter for your legacy, then it isn't worth having. Dad? Why you do 